Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 141 in Candy Crush Friends Saga, where we have 26 moves to collect 10 friends. Now, if you noticed those arrows, those are going to indicate that this is the way things are going to flow. So if I make a move here, instead of things dropping down to fill in, they're going to come from here and fill in. It's like this is the bottom of the board, and this is the top of the board. And I've got to find 10 friends in here, but I do have some specials, and I'm going to try to make more. See how those all collapse? So what I want to do is to try to make moves here, because I always want to make moves at the bottom. Let's see if this will transport down here. Of course it didn't. But it kind of did, because it slid all the way across this way. So let's see what else we can do. I could make more fish, or I could make a stripe. I like where the stripe is going to be positioned, so I'll take that opportunity. And let's see, now I'm going to open up this entirely and it's going to hit this. There we go, look at all that chaos that gets created. And now I want to keep making moves over here to allow things to shift, because just the, the cascading could have an amazing effect here. We'll do this, and things will slide around. We'll do this. It's a, a bit unnerving until you're used to it, how things can kind of spin that way. 17 moves, 6 guys left to collect. I've got that opportunity, but I'm going to hold on to it for a bit and see if I need to use it anywhere else while I do what I've got available here. If I do this stripe, it's going to float up to this area. I don't know that I want that. I think I want to make a move that takes that out. I'm kind of floating back and forth between these two ideas. That wrapped candy, not really in a great spot, so I'll move it one lower. Well, at least it opened up a friend. Okay, I could make a fish, but I'm just going to hit this directly. There we go. And let's make a fish here, and oh, I think I'll take that should probably look at all of my opportunities. <laughs> yeah, that is really nice, actually. This is going to open up so much of this base here. Okay. And all I have to do is this, right? Actually, probably all I have to do is this. This just looks one layer thick. But just in case, this will have a double explosion, so... There we go. That's how we beat these kinds of levels. Watch where the arrows go and then figure out what is the bottom of your board and make moves as close to the bottom as possible. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thanks for watching.